back to the second problem here now see this question is very very commonly asked question in various competitive exams uh, many methods we can use solve this question with uh, many methods in many ways we can solve the question of course now i am going to show you the easiest method for the students they can understand or you can understand very easily i am going to use the unitary method for this one all right simply first read the problem properly a bus uh, without stops covers a distance at an average speed of 90 km per hour but with stops the average speed has been reduced to 72 km per hour how many minutes per hour does the bus stop is the question the question is very clear if it goes without stops uh, of course the speed is 90 km per hour but with stops the speed has been reduced why the speed has been reduced because of the stops only according to the question then how many minutes per hour does the bus stop now the question here when they have asked the question how many minutes per hour bus the uh, does the bus stop i am going to calculate i am going to solve the question with the one hour only one hour only all right let us imagine that uh, the bus has traveled for only one hour imagine in this way only one hour based on that one with only one step i am going to solve the question all right actually the average speed without any stoppages the bus will go at 90 km per hour since i have taken on the basis of one hour right if the bus has not stopped anywhere it will cover 90 km all right in 60 minutes one hour is 60 minutes right but actually in the problem what happened with the stoppages because of the stoppages it covered only 72 kilometers during the same time 60 minutes all right some time is wasted here the time is wasted here just because of the stops all right now this is the actual thing they have given in the question now i'm going to use the unitary method what is the unitary method for this one simply you see to go for 90 kilometers without any stops it takes 60 minutes all right to go for 72 kilometers right at the same rate actually how much time should it take simple unitary method you try to understand friends right to go for 90 kilometers it took or generally it takes 60 minutes all right to go for 72 kilometers with the like uh, without any stops of course 70 to go for 72 kilometers generally how much time should it take all right obviously it should take 72 by 90 unitary method into 60 simplify this one you will get a 48 minutes 48 minutes all right what do you mean by this 48 minutes suppose the bus speed is uh, without any stops to go for 90 kilometers it takes 60 minutes if it goes without any stops to cover 72 kilometers it should like complete in how many minutes is the question right so actually it should take uh, 48 minutes to complete a 72 kilometer journey in one hour all right but in fact it has taken 60 minutes so how much time how much more time it has taken 60 minus 48 all right so it has taken total 12 minutes uh, more time than the first one previous one why it has taken 12 minutes uh, because of the stoppages only so in one hour actually it should cover 72 kilometers in 48 hours but it took uh, 60 minutes uh, it took 12 minutes more to complete the journey because of the stoppages so very clearly we can conclude that uh, the bus had stopped uh, for 12 minutes in an hour the bus had stopped for 12 minutes in an hour this is how you need to go for the question right no need to go for any x or y with only one step with the unitary method right i just repeat this one to complete 90 kilometers like it takes 60 minutes right to complete 72 kilometers actually it should take uh, 48 minutes but it had, had taken 60 minutes what's the meaning of this that one it has taken 12 minutes more why it has taken 12 minutes more because of the stoppages so i can conclude that uh, in one hour the bus had stopped for 12 minutes because of the stoppages right 
this is how we need to go for this type of questions.